weekend and it's active out there with showers and yeah. storms. So busy first day of the season. Let's get right yeah. to it as we're tracking heavy downpours, especially as across central Palm Beach County. So the good news is the rain is starting to break up just a little bit as anticipated, but it's still out there, especially as we go inland west of the turnpike uh, around 441. So we got to go up towards Palm Springs, Lake Worth Beach. We've got some heavy downpours there. Most of the stronger thunderstorms now across the Gulf Stream as we speak, and those were impacting Delray down the Boca a little bit earlier ago. Then we go to Wellington. So this is light showers, so that has loosened up. We go in towards Palm Beach Gardens, the acreage. That's some light showers drizzle at times through Westlake, Loxahatchee, then points out towards Loxahatchee. It becomes a little on the heavier side, especially up towards Canal Point and Pahokee. Right now through northeastern Palm Beach County, Abacoa, back out to the gardens, and then points out towards Juneau, light to moderate sprinkles at times. That's the same as we're tracking up towards Hope Sound to that corner of Martin County. St. Lucie, we're good. Indian River, also good. And then towards Okeechobee County, just some light sprinkles just north of the city of Okeechobee. So what happened? Well, we had this disturbance that really intensified today. And it was uh, at one point it had a 50 shot, a 50% chance to develop. Then it was upgraded to 70% chance. And then right before five o'clock, Hurricane Center said we got tropical depression number two, which will be likely our next name storm because it is expected to strengthen just a little bit, especially as we head through the overnight hours. So as we go through tonight and into tomorrow, you'd see winds could get as high as 40. We're not anticipating the thing to really blow up. And as you can see with the latest future track, all the big impacts stay well west of our area and the state of Florida as it continues as a remnant low all the way towards western uh, portion of Cuba. So here's what we'll be tracking as that low pressure gets a little stronger tonight, forms into a tropical storm, then loses intensity as it approaches Cuba. We're still on that side where it brings in lots of tropical moisture. So our rain chances not only tomorrow but into the weekend are still on the higher side at about 70% and 60% as we head into the weekend. So here's a look at tomorrow. First half of the day is dry. It's going to be super humid. You notice a little bit of sunshine out there. Then the clouds start to build. Here's one o'clock showers and storms start to rumble up around the turnpike. Here's five o'clock more inland showers and storms and then closer towards the treasure coast as we go through tomorrow evening. They stay to about 930 and then we do it all again as we head into Saturday into Sunday, especially late afternoon, early evening showers and storms. Wave heights looking OK. She's running one to two, but outside of the showers and storms, you do have a little bit of dry time to do some boating because it's really not looking that bad. But as we get those showers and storms in the afternoon, it's time to seek that safe harbor. Got a light chop tomorrow on the intracoastal. All right, here's a look at South Florida certified most accurate forecast impact weather continues and that's because we'll see those strong thunderstorms, some minor flooding in some locations, some gusty winds, the same kind of uh, impacts we've been seeing warm and humid as we head through the next few days into the weekend. Look, high rain chances and they continue even into next week, but we add a touch more heat.